Another beautiful day on the river. How's everybody doing tonight? A little after 5, probably closer to 5.30. Got a little update for you. Got a mail call. Uh, say thank you. Let's go look. All right. Finally got everything all here all cleaned up. Everything's all finally back to normal out here and cleaned. Thank freaking God. Yeah. I got a giant package in the mail on Monday. Uh, from a good friend down in Texas. Uh, a fellow modeler, but also a fellow book lover. Um, Mr. Jeff Trees from Treeline Model Works. Um, yeah. I got his number, I got a hold of him. I was like, dude, what is wrong with you, you know? He's like, oh, he's going, on. I saw what happened to you, and he's going, I'm, I'm love books as much as you do, Charlie, and he's going, so I just hope that uh, these, these help a little, and um, let me show you what he sent me. So, first and foremost, we got the autobiography of Mr. John Wayne, uh, but these, these are cool. Big, huge book on Harley Davidson's. But then these here, this is actually one of the ones that I lost. Uh, yeah, this is exactly one of the ones I lost, Jeff. Can't thank you enough, buddy. And then we got uh, another one that I lost. Yeah, just um, to have these replaced... I don't even know what to say. Oh, thank you ain't enough, you know. <sighs> Mr. Trees, if for some strange reason that you and me should ever meet, my friend, you're going to get a big bear hug from me. All right. I'll show you what we got going with the ship. I got some washing to put on. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, nothing's gotten any better over there, that's for sure. Yukon. All right, let me get some uh, little washing on. Oh, God, it's all screwed up. Christ. Oh. Ah. No. Oh. Turn the light around a little bit so I need to want my glasses. And action. All right, so, Jeff, Jeff Trees, not the other Jeff, the good Jeff. Really cool stuff, buddy. Um, I really, really appreciate that. Um, like I said, uh, <laughs> there's a bunch of good people in this community. I'm glad to know that we have more than just uh, just modeling in, in common. So, thank you, sir. All right, now the ship. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's been coming along pretty good. I got uh, my first two. I got the lower um, gun ports in. Uh, whole bottom four is done where the uh, where the ballast goes. I got my next deck in. I got my ladders made, um, so let me show you what we got going. I'm gonna spin you around again. Hang on. Yeah, so there it is. There's one gun port. I got that all in. This house has to be sanded yet and everything else. So, but uh, yeah, we got our supports put in. Uh, I did them my way. Um, I had, uh, I found a nice little piece of, uh, balsa wood laying around in my stash. Um, uh, there's the other gun port. We got two more to put in. We got one here and one up here and same thing on the other side. But, uh, yeah, I think she's looking pretty good. Um, 
We got our four. Our second four is all made up. Uh, these little circles here are where the cannonballs are going to go. Because we get, where is it? We get cannonballs. <laughs> they, give you, they give you cannonballs right there. All our brass pieces, there are our cannon. We get the uh, real brass cannon. Uh, the only thing I didn't see in the directions, to be honest with you, um, was uh, that when the cannons are put in, when the cannons are put in, I don't see any uh, rope or pulleys. And there were, there were ropes and pulleys there, so I'm going to see if I can, I can at least get them in there, you know what I mean? So we'll see what happens. I can't promise you nothing, but... Yeah, I want to see if I can put, because I, I can make little eyelets, and I can put little eyelets in, you know? So, we'll see what we can do. We will see. But, uh, yeah, I've been working on this thing all day, man. All, all day. Cut up all, all these, uh, that took, I can't tell you how long it took to cut all those up yesterday. Because they come in two big strips. Um, they come in two big show what the hell they were for, and then I kind of figured it out. I'm like, oh, okay, those have to be cut. I mean, there's going to be plenty, you're going to have plenty of extras. Plenty of extras. Uh, but uh, I am quite enjoying this. Um, I looked on YouTube. I can't find anybody, I can't find any another one on YouTube. So this will be the first this will surely be the first. It will be, and don't call me Shirley. Ah, oh, God. Oh, man. We just had Mrs. Mac. Mrs. Mac just made chili uh, out of the um, out of the tomahawk that we had the other night. Oh, my God. What a piece of meat that was, man. What a piece of meat that was. <laughs> Here's to my old man. First one's always for the old man. Jeez. <sighs> but, yeah, I think she's coming out pretty good. I, I really do. I think she's looking pretty good. Because in the directions, these were supposed to be made out of the styrene, little styrene rod they gave you. And I was like, well, and I said, maybe I can do a little bit better. Uh, but, yeah, I got my stairs. I had to make two of these. I had to make two of those. The other one's in my thing over here. Those, those are going to go between the deck that's on here. And the uh, and the next deck, and I got that next deck all made. I showed you guys that. This is that next deck, and we got to make sure that we put them in right because our mast goes through it. So, took me a little while to figure out, but uh, between going back on, mostly what's helping me the most is of other pitches that I downloaded, that they give you. Um, those pictures are, are worth a lot more than these freaking directions are, trust me. And it helps be, having, having built a couple of wooden ships. Highly recommended. If you got, if you want to try this, go build a, a little wooden ship first to get a little bit of knowledge of, of what it entails. It's good to get away from the styrene for a while. Um, it, uh, it, it helps you, uh, it help, just helps. Give, gives you more uh, ideas, uh, makes your skill sets better. Um, yeah, they're a pain in the ass. Big wooden ships are a pain in the ass. My hats are off to the guys that build them, but when they're done right, good wood. I was looking up pictures from the HMS Victory, and there's a museum in England that has... A, a, like a full model, and you can go. You can still go see this ship. It's over in England. You can still go. You can take tours and go on the ship, the real ship. But this guy made a model, and then they have cross sections of the model that are like, like bigger than what I'm doing. I was just amazed, man. That's what amazes me about this hobby. It's just 
the real, trying to make something that small look so real. That's right. I don't. I, that's what I think I like about it. Uh, Jeff's gonna be pissed. We're over ten minutes. Yeah, number one, buddy. Nobody watches this long anyway, so what the fuck? Wahoo! Nothing. Oh my god. Fucking guy was the best, man. Here's the, here's the Yukon. Too funny. All right, so I think we'll end it here. Mr. Trees, we'll have one from Mr. Trees. I should have done that right off the get-go. Thank you, sir. Here's the you and Otis and the family. Back to planking. Talk soon. Peace out.